Hello and welcome to the fifth part of our online edition of our course on answer set solving in practice. My name is still Thorsten Schaub and this course is running currently as a master course at the University of Potsdam. So I hope you enjoyed the last part of modeling where you've already seen actually that ASP offers you quite sophisticated language construct and in this part here we will look actually at a little bit closer at these language constructs, what they really mean and actually how they can even be implemented. So the outline is uh, as follows. I'll start talking about the base language, the basic constructs like integrity constraints, choice rules, cardinality and weight rules, etc. Uh, and give you actually an idea on how they can be mapped back into normal logic programs, which you have actually seen at the beginning. And in this way, you, you, you also get to know that they are more or less syntactic sugar that make it much nicer to model, but they do not really extend the expressiveness of the language. Then we talk in the second part briefly about optimization statements that I've already sketched before and you've seen them, minimize statements, weak constraints. And this is more, these two together um, constitute the core language of ASP solvers. But keep in mind that uh, optimization statements are not really part of the language, they are instructions to the solver. Anyway, but we'll, we'll, we'll see this later. Then I talk a little bit about formats. Formats in the way is what is really the input format and where do you have to pay attention and what actually happens in between, what happens between the grounder and the solver. We'll also talk about the intermediate format or more or less you can also look at it from the grounder's perspective, gringo the grounder, you remember, what is the input and output exactly to the grounder. And then I'll wrap up with a few things to remember. So let's get started. <laughs> 